The 10th Ebola outbreak in DRC is especially complex because of where it's happening. So Ebola, for obvious reasons, is a very complex disease to respond to. It's highly dangerous, it's very deadly, and it creates a lot of fear. But then you add in the element that these communities have been in conflict for a generation. They are afraid, they're suspicious of outsiders. Hi, my name is Gwen Emer. I am a public health specialist. I was sent to DRC to work as the health coordinator for the Ebola response. In North Kivu and Ituri, where the outbreak is currently happening, the Red Cross is working to provide a number of life-saving services, including safe and dignified burials, which is really critical to stopping the trans mission because we know that unsafe burials of those who have died of the virus is one of the primary means of transmission and spreading the disease. Um, second, we're working on infection prevention and control in hospitals to make sure that when people seek care that they don't spread the disease to others including to health workers. Third, we're working on community education and engagement so that people know what to do, how to identify the disease, where to get care and, and are able to actually take care of themselves with the information that they need to do so. And finally, providing psychological support particularly to volunteers who are working to to bury members of their community, which for understandable reasons is a very difficult job. Working as a Canadian aid worker in DRC within this context of a sort of a double whammy of conflict and a very difficult disease is a tough job. Um, it's very stressful, it's very long days, but it's also very rewarding because when you do something that has that level of impact, when you're able to carry out an activity uh, that helps to save lives, that helps to educate communities and empower them to make good decisions, is very rewarding.